So guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I just wanna show you a alternative case that you might not know that Samsung sells for a lot of their devices. Now this particular device that I have right here is the S23 uh, FE Fan Edition version. Got it from Metro by T-Mobile. Yeah, I ended up switching back. I know some people are like, you, you left Metro. Ugh, Cricket didn't work well for my job. I didn't get any service whatsoever in a particular building. So I had to do what I had to do, right? And I am thankful for it because now I can actually do my job again, answer phone calls and look things up. So with that being said, let's leave the phone right here for a moment. Now, the purpose of the review is to show you guys this alternative case most people in my opinion don't really buy smart cases like that for companies but they are available now this particular one is the s23 uh, fe smart case as you can see it has the hole punches so for anyone out there that has that tempered glass on your screen on the back of your phone they do sell them for the camera modules you might have to pull that off in order to fit this particular case also um it does have a wallet slot uh, Technically, I would say it would fit like one card, if we're being honest here. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can pull out a particular card and put it in there. One that isn't, you know. Let me see if I can pull one out for you guys that it isn't too revealing. Here we go. So if I put my Cash App card in here, uh, not really comfortable with the fill. Let me see if I can fit it in there properly. Yeah, so... Realistically, this is meant to really fit just one card. If you put anything more than that in there, it's probably going to, when you close the device, make your phone buckle a little bit. But with that being said, as long as you have a thin card, you shouldn't have any problems fitting like a medical card and one other card inside of there. But it does not replace a wallet, and it certainly doesn't replace a wallet case if you already have one. Now, the whole purpose of this case in particular is the smart viewfinder that you have right here. So even though it's a hole in the screen, if you remember the old traditional ones like the Note 3 cases, they actually had a physical screen on the outside that doubled down as a secondary screen. What Samsung did with the technology they have and the cut down cost is that if you put the phone inside the case, which we're about to do right now, and you close it, you know how your phone normally is right here. But when you close it, here is the outside case. Now you can customize this if you hold the button, as you see here, you do have the option to do customization and as you tap screen covers and go inside uh, let me put my code in. i don't care if you guys see the code it'll show that i have the ability to actually change the clock background image depending on which clock that i choose it, it'll let you know which ones have a physical um actually let me break it down a little easier see the clocks right here these are all the options that you have now, the ones that have pictures are the ones that allow customizations of pictures. So if you click on another clock like one of these, it won't the picture won't actually pop up. So I'm going to leave it alone for that reason. Now I'm going to press cancel. Now let's talk about some more features of this actual S case or whatever you want to call it. If you swipe over to the right, there's a music player. Now, I'm not currently playing any music, so I will show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and go to music right here. Let's see. Let's do the YouTube friendly music. So fire and ice. All right. This is YouTube friendly music, so this should be okay. So when I close it and swipe over, as you can see, it's showing the music that's playing right now. And then I have the ability to tap it and change to whatever song that I want to go ahead and change to. Now, with that being said, I'm going to hit the lock button again, unlock it. Uh, I'm going to swipe over to the right. I thought that would reset it for me. It didn't. If you keep swiping to the left, well, let me, let me do the map. If you swipe this way, that's to the right. If you swipe this way, it's to the left. Okay, so if you swipe to the left, that's music. If you swipe to the right, these are the actual notifications on the uh, phone that you would normally see. And if you click into it, it'll show you what it is that you're looking at, which you have the option to open app. You won't open the app from here. You will have to open your phone and unlock it in order to actually see those types of notifications. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to tap it again. I'm going to go over, right? See where it says Joe Button TV? When you click into it, for the guys wondering if it shows like MMS messages and pictures and things, the case actually does. So you can see the thumbnail itself and what's actually being said in said th uh, thumbnail. Sorry for the uh, stuttering. I'm, I am so exhausted and tired, and it's just taking so much energy for me to just do this video. So bear with me, guys. Um, outside of that, there isn't much more customization. Like, I, I tried to swipe down, I tried to swipe up. I figured, hey, am I able to change how notifications pop up? Not so much. It, it doesn't have crazy customization for this particular case. And to be honest with you, um, 
you would still need a tempered glass if you're a person that wants to protect your investment. That's what I actually have on the phone right now. And it's working very well. Even with the tempered glass, the smart case does not fail whatsoever. And like we discussed before, with this wallet right here, um, when you put the card in, actually, matter of fact, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to try to put two cards in instead, right, to see how that responds. So the first one, I got myself the key card. Second one, I have the cash app card. So I'm going to put the cash app card in first. Let's fit that in. Why not do the check now? I'm going to put the SEPTA key card in. All right, so we got two cards inside of this case right now. And as you can see, it's not really fitting in properly because it's only meant for one card. So when you close the case, look at the side. Like we discussed, it's going to be a fat, uneven case if you have too many cards. And if the card is too thick, you're going to have an issue. This is really meant to fit one card. So if you're one of those people out there that is going to a restaurant or something like that, and you want to put your card inside of here, or preferably your ID, because a lot of people use Samsung Pay, Apple Pay, things like that. And so they only need the essential cards. But you should always have a debit card with you and probably a couple of dollars in cash in case of an emergency. This is just an older man speaking to you guys. Now, when you shut the case and you look sideways, um, it's closed. You don't have any issues whatsoever. And for the people wondering if this is magnetic or not, it is not. I, I know what you were thinking. I was hoping the same thing where when you close it, that the magnet will hold the case closed like so many other non-Samsung or smart cases out there. This does not do that. But the upside is that it does give you full protection all around the entire phone. This flap is really flexible. So if you decide to keep it open, you're actually able to do that. And because of the hole punch back here, as you can see, um, I'm going to show you guys something. Let's say you have the case open and you just got to take a quick photo or picture or something. You can go ahead and do that. And it's going to work just fine. Because remember, the top camera, I believe, is the primary camera. So you can still take your photos with no issue whatsoever and you'll be good to go. So what else is there to talk about with this particular case? Um, the feel of it. I'm not sure of what type of material this is right here, if we're being honest. But it is very smudgy to a certain extent. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see like the smudge prints on my hands. And believe it or not, I got to be transparent with you guys. I had this case for underneath a week and it has that amount of smudges. So uh, in my opinion, um, I'm not sure if this comes in different colors or not. I don't remember, but the Amazon link will be posted for people that want to see it. Um, if it does come in different colors, understand it's stuff like this with this material over time, especially if... You know, your phone takes wear and tear, it's case all cases do, it's probably going to stain. That's why I always prefer the black colors because it's just more ideal and whatever stains you see on here, um, it's going to take a long time to really get on it. You know how like eraser marks, not eraser marks, but like dark marks where it's dirt on it. Even if you scrub and clean a case sometimes because of the fabric, it won't come out. And I do like the case. The only downside I can honestly say that it is pretty flimsy. Like like I said, there's no magnetic aspect to it. But I did pay a whopping $10 for this case, so I can't really complain about anything outside of that. Now, lastly, um, for you guys out there, always protect your investment. Like I said, this is a tempered glass on the phone. So this phone, if this case was to drop, this whole screen area right here is completely exposed, similar to a camera bump. This can crack, and then your screen will be damaged forever. Always protect your investment, like I said, and you should be good to go from there. And again, 10 whopping dollars. I think I might have spent 11 or 12 something for same day delivery. You know, add $2.99 to that and then taxes and fees and stuff. I know my math was off right now. Like I said, I, I'm terribly exhausted. So I'm going to end this video now. But <laughs> with that being said, for the guys out there that did go to Metro by T-Mobile, or Cricket or whatever carrier and got this phone for a reasonable price and wanted to still have that professional aesthetic and look, I think the smart case is a very good buy. Can't go wrong with it. And if you don't like it, just put it to the side, especially if you spent barely anything for it. Anyway, like and subscribe like always, guys. Have any questions, let me know. And I'll see y'all in the next one.